Hi, fellow stargazers. My name is Linda Burkhart, and I'm the director of the Sanford Museum and Planetarium. Today, I thought I would show you the telescopes that we have to look at the actual sky and not the artificial one like in the planetarium. This is a six inch Dobsonian telescope. Dobsonians are very simple telescopes. They have a six inch mirror in the rear, and they have a, very, a smaller mirror up in front. The larger mirror catches the light from space, and then it reflects the light up to the mirror at this end of the telescope. This telescope is manually operated, so you just turn it back and forth the way you'd like to. Um, you focus in on your uh, object that you're looking at through the finder, and then once you've centered it in the finder, you look through your eyepiece. So uh, this telescope will gather about 600 times the amount of light that your naked eye could see. So things are much brighter uh, through the telescope. And then depending on the size of lens that you use, it'll be magnified so many times. I usually use a wide angle and it's uh, magnified about 10 times larger than what you would see with your unaided eye. This is a Dobsonian telescope as well, but oh boy, this is a super Dobsonian. This is a 10 inch. That means that the mirror at the rear is 10 inches wide. So a thousand times about brighter objects in this telescope than what you could see with your unaided eye. This one also is what's called a go-to telescope. It has 42,000 objects programmed into it that it can find for you automatically. So when you align this telescope, so you need to kind of tell it where it is in the world. So what you do is find two different objects in the sky, let it know that you found those and where they are compared to where you are, and then, oh, yes, it knows where it is. And then from there, uh, you program in the object and it'll go automatically to it. You use this keypad right here to do that. And you can move this uh, with your keypad, so it can go up and down, and all around. And then, simply put the number of the object that you're looking for, and like if you're looking for M41, you would just put a uh, program M to your keyboard, and then it would automatically go to that if that's in the sky. So this is a fabulous telescope. It was newly purchased for the museum by the Sanford Museum Association. Besides that it's a motorized telescope, it really works essentially the same as the smaller Dobsonian. This is the finder. This is a little better finder and it has crosshairs in it. So once I look through it, the object that I'm looking for, I center on those crosshairs and then it's uh, easier to center into the, the lens. And then this is the lens and again, Depending on the size of the lens, it depends on the size that you're going to see the object. Um, this is the fine tuner, so you can get it to be very, very close and very well defined in your telescope for observing, particularly uh, deep space observations of, of objects. So you can look at planets if you want to, you can look at the moon if you want to, but you can also look at other galaxies and double stars and all kinds of really great things, nebulas, all that kind of thing, uh, is, looks really great in the telescope. It is not used for astrophotography because of its movement, um, particularly the motorized ones will go up and down like this so and not smooth so it's not good for uh, astrophotography but it's great for viewing the museum um, started getting telescopes about 30 years ago we had our first telescope and it was just kind of a natural move to to go out into the real world we have a planetarium and it shows artificial skies and so it made good sense to have a telescope so that we could go out 